Hi, it's Kyra from Bitewing Games, and today we're going to learn how to play the solo mode for Trailblazers, as well as the animal expansion and epic solo mode. If you don't know how to play the base game of Trailblazers, go ahead and watch that short video before you watch this one. Link in the description below. So the point of the game is to win, and you win by scoring 50 points. Like the base game, points are scored for each trail marker along your completed loops. So this is an 8 point loop, and loops that aren't closed, 0 points. Like the regular game, you will deal yourself 8 cards. Select one of your 3 campsites to lay, and select 2 of the 8 cards to lay. Instead of passing cards to your neighbor, you will discard the remaining 6 cards. Deal yourself 6 new cards, select 2, and play those. Discard the remaining 4, deal yourself 4 cards and lay 2, discard the final 2 cards. Then begin round 2 the same way. On rounds 2 and 3, you will start by laying a campsite, and round 4 you will simply lay 6 cards, for a total of 3 campsites and 24 cards. This is again the same as the base game. I find it easiest to deal all of the cards for the 4 rounds at the beginning of the game, so I don't lose track of which round or set of cards I am on. For your first game, try to complete the game, scoring at least 30 points. If you've done that, try again, scoring at least 40 points. The gold standard is really to beat the game, scoring at least 50 points. And it isn't easy, so if you can't get it on your first try, don't feel bad. It is a challenge. Once you have scored 50 points, go ahead and add in some objectives. This handy dandy achievement sheet gives you a checklist of objectives to try to accomplish. We went over this tenderfoot section of 30, 40, and 50 points. For the voyager section, add in the indicated objective card. If the objective is an in-game objective, you must accomplish that objective by the beginning of the fourth round. So you're about to start the fourth round, you look up the objective and you haven't completed it? Too bad, so sad, you didn't win, go ahead and try again. If you have accomplished it by the time you've started the fourth round, great, but you still need to end the game with at least 50 points. Objectives don't award you any points in the solo mode, so you must earn 50 points from your paths alone. As a point of clarification, once you have completed the objective, it's considered completed. If you go back and edit or change that path later, you don't lose having completed that objective. If it's an end game objective that you're playing with, then by the end of the game, you need to have accomplished the objective and earned 50 points. The silhouette on the lower right corner of the end game objective shows the numerical value you must meet or exceed to beat the goal. So, for the Forever Float objective, you must earn 50 points and have a single kayaking loop that is at least 25 in length. Finally, the Blazers achievement. This is simply adding in two objective cards and still earning 50 points. Again, in-game objectives must be completed before beginning the fourth round. And now you know how to play the solo mode of Trailblazers. Let's move on to the Animals expansion. The Animals expansion will be played just like the multiplayer version of Trailblazers, you'll just be adding in the animal tokens. When playing a card with an image of an animal, you can take the associated animal token and place it on this card. The animal can only be placed on the same turn as you place the card. The animal is placed on the longer central path. It is not touching or linked to the two shorter side paths. At the end of the game, you will score additional points for unique animals on each closed loop. The more unique animals, the more points, as shown on the score sheet. So one animal will award 1 point. Five unique animals will award 15 points. Let's look at an example. Amanda will score points for her closed loops. So she scores 14 points for her blues and 6 points for her red loops. This path has one animal, so she earns 1 point. This path has three unique animals, so she earns six points for animals. Remember, you only score for unique animals, so although this path has two of the same animal, she only scores for one of them. Although the hiking path contains three animals, the path isn't closed, so she earns zero points for the trail and zero points for the animals. So is there any reason to not place an animal? Oh yes there is. Any cards with an animal token cannot be overlapped. So, if I wanted to overlap this card to extend this loop... Too bad, so sad, you can't. And that's how you play the animal expansion for Trailblazers. On to the epic solo mode. 
Epic solo mode is played just like the standard mode, but you will include the animal tokens, and you will only score for animals. To be epic solo, you must score 25 points. Place the cards in campsites like usual. Again, animals must be placed at the time of playing the cards. Those cards can no longer be overlapped, and the animals are only linked to the longer central path, not the side paths. If you beat epic solo mode by scoring 25 points over the four rounds, move on to phase two, Springer Fever. Keep all cards where they are, including the draw and discard piles. Set out three more available campsites. Springer Fever will be played over four rounds, just like the usual game. At the beginning of rounds one, two, and three, you can either place a campsite or discard one back to the box. Play the four rounds like usual, adding to your existing sprawling paths. To beat Springer Fever, you must score a total of 75 points in animals at the end of the fourth round. When playing Epic Solo, you'll only use one of the two standard decks of cards. So once you run out of the cards, simply shuffle all the discard cards back together and form a new draw pile. If you beat Springer Fever by earning 75 points, move on to Phase 3, Triple Crown. In Triple Crown, you are no longer scoring points for animals. Rather, you will score points for the single longest loop of each of the trail types. Once again, leave the game set up just like it is. Set out three more campsites. Play the game like usual. Again, either placing or discarding campsites on the first, second, and third round. After four more rounds of adding to and overlapping your previous paths, total up the longest loop of each trail type and record that on the score sheet. There's no score here to beat, it's just a beat your own personal high score. And now you know how to play the solo mode of Trailblazers, the animal expansion, and the epic solo mode. Be sure to check out my video on how to play the Adventurers expansion for another unique twist on Trailblazers. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I'd love to hear what your high score is for Triple Crown. Winner gets a virtual high five. Until next time.